Hi everyone, welcome back to Binky Beauty. If you don't know who I am, I am Binky. This is my skincare channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are diving into some K-beauty today, some faves and fails. And I have to be completely honest with you, there was really only one thing out of all the K-beauty I've been trying that I really have been enjoying. And when it comes to K-beauty, what I have in front of me is really a drop in the bucket, but for like an individual who loves trying skincare, I think it's a lot. But there was really only like one standout product from the products I have in front of me. Now, just to be clear, it doesn't mean that these are bad products, that you should not try them for yourself. Absolutely, if they look interesting to you, try them. They just didn't really work for me and didn't really like stun me so we're just gonna get right into it the first thing i tried was this ionique centella calming gel cream so i still have the box i used this maybe like four times this is what it looks like it's just like a really light gel moisturizer that would be amazing if you have oily or acne prone skin this would be great for you because it's got that centella asiatica leaf it's got 70 percent um centella asiatica leaf water i should have like organized that a little better it's also got tea tree leaf water which is really antibacterial so so good for your skin both of those ingredients are going to be so nice for soothing any redness and also just the general texture of this cream it's a gel it's really a gel it's going to be really good for just like not clogging your pores but delivering hydration and right off the bat i will say that something that i love about a lot of k-beauty that i've tried is that they use tea tree oil but it is formulated so nicely to not cause any irritation, but to really deliver some amazing results. However, this was just too light for me. I found myself reaching for a heavy moisturizer like 20 minutes after putting this on. However, since I only used this like four times, I'm gonna give it away to a friend I have who really loves K-Beauty. Actually, a lot of this I'm gonna be giving to her, so she's gonna be really excited, but this just didn't work for me. Um, but like I said, if you have struggles with acne, oily skin, you just really want a light moisturizer, this would be great for you, and it was really reasonable. It was under like $20, so didn't work for me, but it might work for you. Okay, next we've got the AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Toner from, who's this by? Oh, Some By Me. Again, this looked like a super interesting, super promising product. I believe this also has tea tree oil. This takes care of your pores. It's brightening, it's moisturizing. Um, I thought like, wow, this, this is, this has got to be good. Like I saw the before and afters, it's got niacinamide. I mean, this product has a lot of good things going for it. I tried it for about a week and I know that some of you might think like, that's really not long enough to try a product. For me, it was that like my skin was just looking like different. And there was something, oh, sorry, I hadn't, I can't organize my thoughts today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but there was nothing else different in my routine except for this. Um, oh, and I was trying it with the serum, but, and we'll get to the serum, but I just wasn't impressed with this. I didn't, I just, it just wasn't for me. And again, it's not because it's a bad product or, you know, like, it's an awful company. It just wasn't right for me. And there's still quite a bit. Well, it's like almost full. Can you see? Yeah, so it just wasn't right for me, but it's got a lot of great things going for it. The AHAs, the BHAs, the PHAs, the niacinamide. There's no ingredients in English, but it, I mean, it, it's a great product. It just didn't work well for me. 
and like I said I saw the before and afters and I was really intrigued by that but just wasn't right for me I also picked up the AHA BHA PHA miracle serum by them um, this has centella asiatica at 14.5 percent so again a lot of really good ingredients um, just it wasn't right for me again and I barely barely use the serum I can I can tell pretty quickly if I like a product and yeah these two just weren't right for me didn't really catch the vision but like I said I'm gonna give them away to a friend who's really gonna enjoy them okay next I've got the I'm from honey mask by I'm from so I was really excited to try this mask because I love honey. I love honey and skincare. I think it's so, so good for your skin. I loved that it came with this huge spatula so you could like scoop it out and like put that on your skin. However, the however, um, this has this has shea butter in it and I don't and it has sunflower seed, macadamia seed oil. And if you hear that, that's my air cleaner. I'm sorry, I should have turned it off. But um, when I rinsed this off, I felt like a film on my skin. And that's like never a good sign for me because I automatically think this is going to clog my pores. So I didn't love this particular formula. Honestly, I prefer putting straight honey on my skin. And I have tried different variations of products that have honey and I just keep going back to good old plain honey. So this was not a favorite for me. I was really excited to try it. I know a lot of people who have raved about this mask. It just wasn't right for me. So I'll be passing this on as well. Next, I also tried their mugwort mask. By the way, I got the three, the rice, the honey, and the mugwort mask. I got them in a trio from uh, wish trend and they were a really great price so if you do want to try these masks definitely go to wishtrend.com and just get the trio because it's a really good value anyway the mugwort mask this again was a super intriguing product because when do you see mugwort in skincare so I was super super excited to try this um, didn't leave a film on my skin but my skin felt irritated after I'd take it off and it felt like hives wanted to happen like around here and around here. Funny thing is I had tried the mugwort sheet mask and I it had the same experience. My skin just felt kind of irritated after and I thought well maybe it's the sheet mask because sometimes cotton sheet masks I don't know what it is about cotton sheet masks but my skin just doesn't like them so I thought maybe it was the sheet mask I'm gonna try the mask that comes in the jar same thing happened so I just might be intolerant to the mugwort or something or it might be like their formulation of mugwort but it just didn't work for my skin and I chose not to try it again because I didn't want to push it and irritate my skin um, next I tried the rice mask and this was actually my favorite out of all of the masks um, it's a little gritty it was very brightening I also got the toner that I'm still trying so I didn't include it in this video but um, the rice mask it was nice kind of straightforward nothing crazy as far as a mask goes I might have to use it a little more frequently to you know get a better opinion but out of the three that I tried this was my favorite it has kind of like an old lady baby powder smell to it I don't know if it yeah it does have fragrance which um I'm not like against fragrance and skincare but it can be irritating at times especially like as a mask that's sitting on your skin so like I said out of the three this was my favorite but obviously as you hear me talking about it I'm still kind of like ah, so so um, so I might just end up passing this one along too but yeah just unfortunately none of the masks really worked for me um lastly we have these 
Oh, who is this by? I don't know who this is by. It doesn't say. But these sheet masks, I got them on Yes Style. I always like picking up. Um, well, I used to like picking up sheet masks to try. I'm kind of not super into sheet masks. And when I do buy them, I like the ones from Whole Foods. Those are great. Otherwise, like if I buy a box and I don't like it, I'm stuck with the, the sheet masks. But I can give them away. So, you know, I give them away and that's fine. Anyway, this sheet mask, it is rest for stressed skin and soul. And I loved the way that sounded. I thought, oh, this could be nice, like as a balance to like retin-A or acids or just actives in general. And it irritated my skin. I took it off and my skin looked really flushed and it just didn't work for me. I did not like these. So in the like sea of sheet masks that you see out there, like on Yes Style and whatnot, don't don't get these. I know they're kind of random, but I'm going to give them away because something that didn't work for me might work for someone else. And there's still, man, I gave these a good try. There were five. I tried three of them. So they just really didn't work for me, but I'm going to give them away. Oh no, not lastly. The last item I'm gonna show you is one that I've really been enjoying and has worked. It's the IS Tree Green Tea Fresh Toner. As you can see, I'm almost done with it. Have really been enjoying this toner. Green tea is an amazing antioxidant. This toner, it smells like tea a little bit, but it's very soothing, very hydrating, and it's just nice like it's a nice k-beauty toner super gentle again i love that it has the green tea and it's worked really well for me so out of all those other products i found one winner however my friend is going to be very excited to get this lovely care package of k-beauty and i'm just going to keep using my is tree toner so those are my faves well, one fave, the rest were fails, K-Beauty product. I know there is a lot of K-Beauty out there and I will keep trying it like as I am inspired to and as I, you know, see products that address things that I'm trying to work on. But as for most of these, they just weren't great, but I wanted to share them with you. So maybe gives you something to think about. Maybe you saw some of these products and you're like, ooh, that might be perfect for me and you go out and get it. Please comment below your favorite K-Beauty products because there are so many out there. I would love to know what you're using and what has really worked for your skin. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.